it's Shanique here. Today we're going to talk about how to elongate your spine when you do Pilates. Of course, every exercise in Pilates is meant to correct your posture and to give you more length into your spine. But sometimes when we are busy working out, we kind of forget those little details and it became just a workout and we didn't think about the spine so much. So this is the class to focus more on elongating your spine, especially the lower back, the lumbar spine. This is a place that can be tight for some of us. Um, oh, definitely also because we are not quite strong here, that means anything we do end up using the lower back more or any other places that is dominant in your body. So let's start by warming up the feet. I have this spiky ball here where you can actually walk on it. I've said it before, if you don't have access to any spiky ball or trigger ball, you can use a, a wa glass water bottle and roll your foot around. And it's simply to wake up the muscle under your feet. Waking up your feet allows your hips and your spine to wake up too. You have all those nerves that end up under your feet and the more they awaken, the more uh, they fire the muscles that are, they are attached to. So for me, it's one of the best things, using my feet. I love it. I like my right foot especially. This is my tight foot. So my feet really feel happy when I wake them up. <laughs> and one of the good things you can do at home or if you live by the beach is go for a walk and then once you arrive on the beach, remove your shoes and step into the sand and work your feet. It's a good way to open all those muscles there. Okay, all right. Ooh, that's enough. Okay, I'm going to move my ball out of the way. And you are going to stand on the ground, feet Pilates. Hopefully, you feel a little bit awakened with your feet. And you're going to start with a Pilates feet. I'm going to grab my magic circle and start with the breath because the breath allows the muscles to open. So we inhale and press into the magic circle, stomach in. You exhale and release. I have another video which I will leave the link below. You can actually see a whole workout that I did with a feet and all the way to the spine. Keep going, inhale, push into the circle, exhale out. One more, and exhale. Now I'm gonna give you a few more cues. When you inhale into your ribcage that way, so you expand your ribcage, and that allows your lumbar spine to feel free. Uh, you open up the muscle, but you also need to give it more thoughts if you would like. So as you breathe in, you want to draw your tailbone down because that tailbone is the end really of your spine. And the more you draw your coccyx down towards your heels, the more you're going to allow your lower back to get a little bit of elongation because the lumbar spine goes that way. Some of us use those muscles a little bit too much like myself. So you want to use your stomach and draw your tailbone down. So I'm going to stay on the side here. So pull your abs in, draw your tailbone down. So as you inhale, you are growing through the, through the ceiling by your crown of the head and your tailbone is drawing down to your heels. And then you use the air that travels in your body to contract your abs. That's Pilates, right? That's how we actually get the breath to tone the abs. Squeeze your legs, but not your glute muscle. We're looking for the inner thighs, the upper hamstring to connect under your, all the way under your sit bones and meet your spine. The glutes, you know, they are strong muscle. They will come, come on their own. So don't over squeeze them if you don't have to. Continue with that feeling. So we have three cues, expanding the rib cage, drawing the navel in and up, drawing the tailbone down, 
all this happen in your breathing. So when you breathe like that, you are actually focusing on giving your spine space to elongate. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. So inhale to the nose, draw the tailbone down to the floor, reach the crown of the head up, exhale, release the magic circle. Good. Three more counts. Last one, inhale. And exhale down. All right, we're going to continue opening the lower back. I have two small weights here, one kilo, 1.52. We're not trying to use this as a to actually contract anything, we're actually using the weights to help us again opening the spine. Um, so as you draw your tailbone down, you're going to place your arms in front of your thighs, elongate and find a good posture. Inhale, nod your chin in, roll forward, keeping your legs still and allow your spine to move instead of you leaning in the back of your legs. And as you inhale, draw your tail down through your heels, lift your lower abs, middle abs, upper abs, and then stack your shoulders on your hips, your head on top of your shoulders. Once again, inhale through your nose, Expand the ribcage, roll your body forward, keeping your hips over your ankles, and you arrive where your body allows you to go. Then you inhale, roll up, tummy goes in, and shoulders stack on top of your pelvis. One last time, this time you can do three to five or how many you like to do, it feels good on the spine. Let's do one more, deep breath in, roll your neck in, shoulders coming with your arms, ribs back, tummy in the spine, lower tummy in, draw your tail down. This time we'll stay in this position and you're gonna go small little circles. Inhale, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Reverse, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Slowly roll up, breathe deep through your nose. And then head on top of your shoulders, and then exhale. One more time, deep breath in through your nose, roll, tummy goes in, open your lower back, keep your hips over your ankles, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight, reverse. And then bring your arms to a complete stop. Roll your pelvis over your hips. Stack your spine. And bring your head flat. All right. So um, I hope that you understand how the, the weight that you're going to use is going to allow you to get further down the floor. So if you have tight hamstrings, that may be helpful. And you actually allowing your pelvis to roll away from your legs and allow your lumbar spine to open. All right, let's put this into practice. We are going to do a few mini exercises. Like I mentioned uh, a few weeks ago, the pelvis has so many muscles attached to it, but some of them also attach to the spine. So when you do those mini little uh, rotation, movement, and opening, you allow your spine to relax a little bit. You allow your lumbar spine to have more space. That's the reason you do these small little movements that actually specifically open these muscles that are attached to your lumbar spine, also to your pelvis. 
So head down on the mat, so arms by your side. You're going to inhale, find your sacrum on the mat. You're going to curl your tail, lift your pelvis. And then as you exhale, lower your pelvis down and keep the belly long. So when your belly is long, you know your lumbar spine is also long. So your tailbone is reaching through your heel. Exhale. One more time, inhale. Exhale. Bring your feet towards each other, knees to work together. Squeeze the inside of your legs. You're going to lift one pelvis, come up. So that will be your left pelvis. Both shoulders stays down on the mat. Exhale, come back center. Inhale, lift your right pelvis off the mat. Both legs go to the left. And exhale, back center. Inhale, breathe in. And exhale, back center. Left side, breathe in. And exhale, back center. One last time each side. Exhale in. Left. And exhale in. Good. All right. So you're going to grab your circle. Feet keep distance apart. You're going to inhale, reach your arms back. Exhale, bring your arms forward. So you don't let your ribs pop up. So let your arms glide into your shoulder capsule there by pulling your tummy in up and elongating your tailbone towards your feet, elongating your tummy in and up. Exhale. Breathe in. Now see if you can keep your pelvis down. Inhale, open your ribcage. Exhale, only curl as far as you can keep your pelvis down. And as you exhale, elongate your spine and head down. Deep breath in. Exhale. Breathe in. Three more counts. Breathe in. Last two. Inhale. If you do it right, you will feel a stretch in your abdominal here. Inhale. Exhale. All right, you're going to bring your, you know, your hamstring is attached to your sit bones and your, it affects your lumbar spine when it's tight. So we're going to inhale, flex the toe, put your uh, little foam, your foot on your foam there, inhale and exhale, point. Inhale, flex, exhale, point. You can totally leave this leg straight down. One more. Last one. And then hold the stretch. Breathe in. Pull yourself forward. Bring your elbow. Elbow bend. Soften your ribs. One more breath. Grab your circle. Lower your head down. And open your legs sideways. Breathe in. So you're going to feel the stretch in your inner thigh all the way to your heel. Last breath. Come back center. Change hands. If you keep looking center, or you can look in the opposite side. It's up to you. Breathe in. One more, and then come back center, bend your knee, and stretch your knee, bend your knee, and stretch, one last.
one time. And then change side. Point and flex, inhale, point. Exhale and flex. Inhale, point. Exhale and flex. Two more. Last one. Lift your chin to your throat. Bend your elbow. Inhale. Soften your ribs down. Lower your head down. Grab your circle on the side. Open the leg. Breathe in. Last breath. Come back center. Change hands. Look away or look center. Last one. And then bring your leg back. Bend your knee, inhale, exhale. Last one. And exhale. All right. Okay, grab your two, uh, one kilo weights, flex your toes, drill your sitting bones down, and draw your tailbone down into the floor. As you inhale, you roll, you roll halfway. You will feel it when, you are go, when your body is not able to do the, you will feel it when you reach the point where you feel the tightness in your back. Your butt, belly will just pop out. So you inhale, draw your chin to your chest, allow your pelvis to roll first. And you see how far you can go. If your body is telling you, oh, I can't. And exhale. You breathe in. You roll your hips. You pull your abs back. And then you exhale. Two more counts. Breathe in. Roll. Exhale up. Last one. I'm going to go all the way down with knees bent. Take a deep breath in. Roll forward, exhale. See if you can use those cueing I just gave you. Roll your pelvis, draw your navel in and up your spine. Exhale, head touch the mat. Inhale, chin to your throat, roll up. And exhale, come forward. Inhale, roll back. Move, allow your pelvis to move. Then your lumbar spine moves. Then your head goes down. Two more counts. You see, I'm keeping my knees bent, but I'm still making the action of my spine happening. Inhale, roll. Last one. Let's go back to those how when the feet helps, the feet helps the pelvis to and the spine to open. And head down. All right. This was your uh, mini, ex mini exercise series to open your lumbar spine. So it's important that you use the cueing for that because there are so other dense muscles that can prevent you from going deep into your spine. So. Remember, tailbone down, navel to spine, expand your ribs, elongate yourself, and use this cue when you are focusing on opening your lumbar spine. Once you have the chance to watch or do the video, let me know which exercise you feel right for your spine. If you like this video, please give me a thumb up, and of course, subscribe to my YouTube channel for more mini-series to come. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time.